Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Davey. 12 o'clock location, we have Dentark starting as the blue Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Exit starting as the gray Terran. This is going to be on Ascension. And I'll tell you what, after game one, I don't know who to favor anymore uh, in this on this map. Overall, I still favor Dentark in the matchup. Because as we saw in game one, Dentarg has amazing abilities to defend. Just incredible abilities to defend. Exit was attacking relentlessly, and Dentarg held the line over and over again. In fact, I don't know that there was... It felt like there were one or two opportunities where Exit got a little bit of purchase, and then just shortly after, Dentarg closed the gap and cleared things out. However, this is Ascension... And mostly what I'm thinking about is the opportunity for dropships in Dentarg's main. And we've seen Exit. It looks like usually Exit previously in a lot of the matches was more of a reactive player. He was going to wait for his opponent to go ahead and do something. And then he was going to kind of adjust to what he was doing and kind of went from there. And that was a very strong style for him. It feels like in these matches, instead he has taken the initiative and just try to be relentless in a lot of his approach. That I could see working against many players, not Dentarg. So we'll see if we're gonna see more of the same because Dentarg, as we saw, he's happy, happy to absorb the attacks and just continue to macro up behind it. And honestly, he's doing it with really razor thin margins, which where it's kind of like the last cell it dies as it's mind dragging into the, those last two siege tanks. And usually Protoss can rebuild potentially more rapidly. After that, assuming that there are uh, gateways to do so and economically to do so, it looks like we are seeing gas grab barracks alongside. And it looks like first scout is going to be in exit favor. We're seeing a initial zealot being produced, a simulator down and a cybernetics core warping in for Dentarg. Second supply depot, the kind of interesting configuration where it's... I've seen this interior configuration like this, but not uh, on Ascension in particular. So first cell going to be built. We're going to see a Dragoon produced afterwards. Probe for Dentarg scouting bottom left-hand corner. So he's going to get last scout in exit space. Factory. Plopping down, and it looks like Exit's already going to have potentially two Marines on the front door to go ahead and deny information. Looks like we are just seeing a single SCV on gas, so he's still thinking about going for factory expand overall. Range is being upgraded for Dentarg. And a Zealot now marching to the bottom right-hand corner. Going to be joined with that probe and without a barracks, actually. So the third Marine's going to be here, but there's no barracks in position, so potentially this is going to delay that command center slightly. First Dragoon is going to plop out. And might be able to deny, might be able to take out that SCV. Yeah, before it's really able to get additional scouting information. Usually that was kind of exit strong suit in the past, is, is knowing what it being able to have eyes on what his opponent is his opponent's up to and going ahead and playing from there. A barracks, sorry, a bunker being dropped there. Did I say barracks a couple times? Potentially did. A little bit sleepy today. Bunker. Halfway finished, the Zealot looking to wander forward, but there are four Marines there. Might make another shot at it once this Dragoon joins the grouping. Dintarg responding by grabbing a Nexus of his own. That is going to keep that bit of an economic lead. Machine Shop plopping down as well. Three SCV back in gas for Exit. We'll see what Exit's up to this time. So Factory's here. The Dragoon, how did it... Sorry, I missed a bit of... How did that happen? Looks like the Dragoon and the Zealot just trying to walk straight by the rest of these forces. Two SCV coming off the line. Should have paid more attention to the front, I guess. Wow. So able to sneak into that natural. Huh? And he's able to get a good look at everything. Looks like these hero SCVs going to be able to... Well, a bit of disrupted mining time here for exit. So I'm a little bit shocked he didn't just dedicate these Marines. I guess maybe he's worried that there were... Additional troops potentially coming. So the Dragoon able to get three kills. Almost able to get four kills. But a decent amount of economic disruption. But did see the machine shop. Saw the siege tank. Is able to confirm kind of the standard stuff happening. SCV 
getting wiped out on the front. So right now, exit behind economically. Second gateway, a robotics facility. Warping in for Dentarg. Dentarg playing very solid, very safe. And this is kind of the moment where I want to see if Exit is in fact going to opt to build a starport and maybe go for drops. Because you can see just there's a lot of room to go for drops. I kind of want to see Dentar go for a shuttle of his own behind this. But knowing Dentarg, more likely than not, he's going to just try to play a little bit more uh, macro-aggressive rather than straight-up micro-aggressive. Potentially make sure he can seal an additional third base. Another thing from Ascension is, is if your turn opponent is going for that third, you can see where large amounts of Dragoons can press down and take care of that. And having a large amount of Dragoons pumped out of three or however many gateways can also help negate any counter shuttle play as well. Looks like we are going to see a second factory. Army plopping down. And I think Exit with this is thinking about folding either to... We'll see if he goes for a plus one timing. He does have that engineering base putting down preventative turrets because he doesn't have information. As far as what Dentarg's up to. Dentarg mostly getting observers out in the field. Starting to wander out with this probe. Is he going to go for a sneaky expansion? I wonder if he's going to try to sneak a third. Plugging up his front. Nope, going to go ahead and wander back. Go ahead and just grab his third. Stereotypical location. Exit playing much more defensively this game. Plus one weapons has been started. Still sitting on two factories and he hasn't dropped a second machine shop. Looks like he's playing more as though he wants to go ahead and take a faster third base. And play the long game of move towards the 200-200 supply and keep just a larger upgrade count. So perhaps realizing, which I think is a wise shift in tactics, especially after game one, where if relentless attack does not work, switch up your gameplay. Try something new. Second gas is up for Dentarg, and Dentarg going for... Wow. Wow. Just maybe realizing how defensively Exit's playing. He's going to go ahead and go for... I, this isn't two base Arbiter because he is grabbing his third, but he's going for this tech switch. This feels very brave. Popping down a fourth gateway, already going to Stargate. And Arbiter Tribunal. So effectively going to Arbiter before his third's even up and running. Potentially to go f to get that energy stored to go for recalls and drops. Academy building in the background. We have Goliath range being produced. A starport, but I believe that's for weapons too, rather than for anything else. And you can see Exit's attack force just looking rather rather thin. Dentarg with the economic lead. Supply lead. He's going to have a tech lead. But I think Exit is... Again, his long-term game plan is just to go ahead and play a little bit more passively. Two additional factories plopping down. Still no additional machine shops. And Dentarg moving out with his attack force. Let's see if he go ahead if he moves ahead and go ahead and blah, 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 can't talk all of a sudden. Gonna stage at what potentially could be Exit's third base. So shuttles technically have, have a lot of room to drop, but Arbiters have a lot of room to go ahead and fly in and drop recalls as well. Keep that in mind. And with the timing of this, he might be able to go ahead and drop in the main, get some SCV disruption at the main when it counts. Weapons one halfway finished. And especially like a good size Zealot drop would be really scary. Third base, built interior floating out. Exit unseaging some siege tanks. Looks like he does want to make a push. I kind of like his decision to go a little bit more economically aggressive here because with this gap here, it's like really you just need to worry about the high ground. Fewer siege tanks can defend this gap because you're funneling troops into one of those locations where they can just they get obliterated by all that splash. So now moving up, going to run into that single Dragoon. Dentarg. Moving out. Ooh, he's going to get a couple zealots caught right there. Looks like Exit is going to be able to get the high ground. Now, Dragoon's coming up. This is going to be misfire chance 
from the low ground, but still able to have superior range to push those Dragoons back. And so Dentarg missing a bit of an opportunity to push in and harass this third. I think he realized it, but he's going to go ahead and back out. And I think the wise decision just preserve the troops rather than sacrifice them here. I'm not sure who's going to be in the best position to do that because of this tech, this quick tech grab. Bunch of gateways down. This is what I like to see out of Dentarg. Dentarg playing really well this match. On the macro front, already has three bases. Maybe in a position to go ahead and grab everything. Huge macro lead. 70 workers. Hopefully he doesn't produce any additional workers from here. Additional gateways plop down. 20 supply lead, which is just where you want to be at as a Protoss player. However, Exit executing his game plan as well. Double, double armory up. He's already got plus one weapons. And is tacking down all of the additional factories to go ahead and filter in. To have that big two level two weapons, level one armor beast of an army to push into Dentarg. I think Dentarg potentially going to be in position to deal with it. Recall developing. Really, it's going to come down to how successful the recalls are. If the recalls do a lot of damage and push exit back, he'll be in a in a good space. But if he doesn't, if he if the recalls do not work out for him, that means that's going to be less stasis to potentially deal with exit as he's moving out to go ahead and press testing that front yeah not much of an attack force to to press and encounter this so gonna go ahead and back off not that much time off a potential first recall and it looks like dentarg is gonna go ahead and establish looks like two bases so nine o'clock location and the bottom left Some vultures moving out. One problem here for Dentarg is, is okay, so he's got good cannon wall here. A cannon in the upper left. The Dragoon's trying to close the gap on those vultures, not finding that. Looks like an Arbiter is going to go ahead and move across and find these vultures, but the vulture's able to scoot through this gap. So eight probes here are going to get wiped out. And actually, if they focus fire the Nexus from the back corner, if Dentarg doesn't come and deal with this, that could be... An exchange. Nice delay in time. And this is as Arbiter's recall energy is coming online. The rest of the Vultures, it looks like they're going to go ahead and ignore that and just press in and get more probe kills. And with that, Exit has equalized the worker count. Equalized the worker count and bought himself some time, potentially. Major gateway man behind this. Wow, look at this. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Dentarg in a great position here with all these troops. We'll see how the recalls potentially pay off. So recall's been upgraded. It's finished. We got energy on the Arbiters potentially to go for it. The question is, is at what location and how many troops get dedicated? A lot of mines and siege tanks dedicated to defend this third for exit. He's already got a turret and supply depot blockade to the north. You can see the observers fanning out, I think looking for Potential gaps. First science vessel being produced for exit. However, I don't know that he has EMP researched yet. I'm trying to find the science facility to go ahead and get eyes on that for you guys. Where is it? It's well hidden. There it is. It's like right next to EMP just finishing. So potential counter. And so with that, there's the recall. Able to get into the main. I was about to say, where is that? Where is it? Working on the armory. Able to disrupt a lot of SEVs. Exit losing a lot of SEVs in that attack. Arbor has been wiped out. It's going to lose some supply depots as well. Looks like this attack is going to get cleaned up. But Dentarg also making sure that Exit is just locked to these three bases. Exit down on supply overall. Lost an armory. That's going to delay those critical weapon upgrades. Dentarg still in an okay position, but honestly, Exit still not knocked that far off his game plan. Still shelling up and sitting on a lot of siege tanks. Plus two weapons, plus one armor. 
Let's see if he actually starts moving out and attacking now, especially with that recall being expended. More Arbiters taking the field. Dentarg on five bases. His main's going to mine out in not too long, but he's still got a big economic lead. A big economic lead. Exit clearing things out. He's down in supply, but does have a scary mech army. Dentarg cycling to the north. Able to wipe out troops there. Exit going to split the difference. Dentarg now at max supply. But Exit with high ground advantage able to pick away at these... Wow, that mine really wanted to hit that Zealot. That was nuts. I feel bad for Dentarg with that one. There's no way that mine should have triggered and run all that distance. That was like a... That... That spider mine, his religion involved running into that Zealot somehow. He was all about that. All right, anyway. Big mech army. Pushing to the upper left-hand corner. Going to take the high ground. Dentarg not in position to deny. The high ground attack is also having his army softened up a bit by the spider mines that were laid latently behind this. Exit eating one stasis. The Arbiter taken out otherwise. Actually, two nice stasis dropped. Dengtar sweeping in from the south. The Zealots on top of the siege tanks rapidly. So this attack from Exit going to get absolutely stomped. Great defense from Dentarg. Beautiful. Exit just not really getting in position despite having the high ground advantage. The Vulture is not there. The two stasis really... Clumping up a lot of this army. And now, Dentarg has a huge bank to work with. He's still nearing 200 supply. He's denied Exit a fourth. Exit's main is mined out. So now Exit's in a situation where he needs to potentially some nice EMPs drop. Kind of on death here. But now, Exit needs to think about taking an additional base but is potentially in a situation where he doesn't have the troop count to do it. 193 supply to 136. Big lead for Dentarg. Dentarg just needs to get the troops up to... Looks like rather than pushing up to deny that fourth, he's going to go ahead and grab the bottom left. Kind of a piecemeal force moving up here now. Still insufficient to potentially push in and deny this. SCVs in transfer. Zealots on top of the siege tank. So plenty of vultures actually there to clean it up. So it looks like Exit is going to be able to go ahead and grab that additional base. This is again a situation... Okay, here's the attack force. It's one of those things... That's kind of the problem I've had uh, tracking Dentarg here and there. Is that he's had big supply leads. The macro has been solid and on point. But as far as troops out on the field... Feels like it's been smaller armies than what is indicated by the supply. He sealed up that bottom left. So now he is going to be running at four bases shortly. Versus exits three. He's got a zealot camp in that bottom right. He's in position to deny the inside 12. But exit's just going to go ahead and plop down. Get this additional base. And I think just work his way towards 200-200. And rely on a potential upgrade advantage. Level three weapons, level two armor. Level 2 armor a ways off, but still being produced. Level 2, level 3 weapons is here for Dentarg. There's still potential for recalls. Looks like a third Stargate being plopped on. I don't see any... Looks like there is queued Arbiter, so it's going to stick to Arbiter tech. Rather than a tech switch to Carrier. I'm not sure this is the best map for Carrier either. Not bad, but not the best. Exit near 200 supply himself. Dentarg with a big bank to work with, but he doesn't have... Looks like... Oh, sorry. Take it back. He does have some gateways. Potentially bottom left. Dentarg sweeping 
across the high ground. Exit sieging up. Dentard backing out wisely. Looks like both of his Arbiters EMP'd. Repositioning is going to dive back into it. I don't know that this is wise. Great size storm over those siege tanks, though. So the Zealots and Dragoons getting pushed back off the middle. And that is going to potentially open up Exit to, gr to grab yet another base. So now Exit... Playing more defensive style. The supply count just about even, but Dentark has a huge bank to work with. So still, in my opinion, in decent control of this match. However, Exit, upon grabbing this, will be at three bases by the time this mines out. Dentarg light there, so it is going to be... Well, let's see if they're saturated. Four mining bases. Yeah, Dentarg with a huge economy is what it comes down to. As long as he can keep up with the macro and keep the armies fielded, he should be able to repel Exit. But that's the... The question is, is, can he keep that army cohesive to repel Exit? Exit now moving in to attack the interior 3 o'clock location. Zealots not able to get there. It looks like there are some Zealots sweeping in from the north. The Dragoons getting obliterated as they're coming in. No Goliath to deal with that Arbiter. Exit holding up short to go ahead and attack some stragglers. Arbiter moving in, able to get a nice stasis on some siege tanks. However, there's not enough troops otherwise from Dead Targ to defend this interior 3. More troops moving up. Arbiters are on the defensive trying to take out Siege Shanks to defend this base, but it looks like this Nexus is going to get taken out. And we'll see if Exit continues from here. So down 30 supply, but able to strike at some of the core of Dentarg's economy. Arbiter's still able to do some suppressing damage here. Exit now backing out. Under fire from the sky. Fire from the sky. This is a song about that, right? A movie about it. <clears throat> yeah, still getting assailed by this Arbiter. More siege tanks moving up. So Exit not even bothering. He's like, you know what? Just let those Arbiters do what they're going to do. I'm going to continue attacking. Now that I've got... 200 supply. I'm just going to take out all of your holdings. Come and stop me. It's going to be a little bit difficult coming from this situation, particularly with the stasis blockading troops along the way. But the vultures able to get here, so it looks like another base is going to fall for Dentarg. See if the vultures sweep in. Finally, an attack force from the north, from Dentarg, looks like it's going to be able to sweep up these troops. Great size storm on the gap. However, the Vulture is still able to get a good amount of probe kills in, De in Dentarg's bottom left-hand base. Supply count still just about even. Dentarg's holding under assault. While well, Exit actually has been pretty much mining undeterred at various locations. It looks like so there's three probes left here. Dentarg still has plenty of workers plenty of probes. He just needs to transfer them where he wants them. Now a bunch of Goliaths filtering in. Level 2 armor is online. No movements towards level 3 armor. An exit once again grouping up. Trying to get some mines in the way. Able to pick out actually able to pick off a handful of Dragoons. A lot of Arbiters on the field now. And they got a lot of energy. So I think actually Dentarg looking pretty strong here. At 200 supply. If Exit makes any moves, I think he's just going to end up being completely locked in place by Stasis. Might have to worry about a recall, honestly. I think this Arbiter might be split it, split off to maybe go for a recall in the upper right. There's a bunch of turrets there, though. So without a hallucination or additional Arbiters, I don't know that he's going to be able to push through and land it. We'll see if he goes for it anyway. Looks like not. 200 supply on both sides. I think that Arbiter has been spotted. Is it going to go all the way around? Might go all the way around. 
Recall behind still managed to pull it off. Can Recall be stopped? Siege Shank is there with Goliath, though. And this is a big base that Exit needs to hold. While that's happening, Dentarg is going to sweep across, maybe attack this interior 3 o'clock location from the ground. Looks like Exit already on top of it. A lot of Goliaths and Siege Tanks moving on location. High ground advantage for Dentarg, but he just has fewer troops right this second. Goliaths being stasis. So might be able to assail the worker count from the right-hand corner, but I... Ooh, and another big stasis, but... I don't know that Dentarg's going to get a lot else out of this. More Goliaths pushing forward. More Arbiters taken out. And the troops, with all the stasis in the way, having trouble for Exit getting in location to go ahead and push this army back. Exit needs to think about taking an additional base. Dentarg re-grabbing the inside three. He's still mining on four. Looks like some Psy Storms of Goliaths as they were pushing down. Siege Tank on the low ground. Goliaths just, yeah, they're... They have trouble. Six o'clock location. Not yet grabbed. Dentarg plopping a pylon to stake a claim here. He's... Some mines getting dragged, taking out that Dragoon, but... As long as he denies this five and six o'clock base to e from exit... Looks like he's going ahead and grabbing that Nexus in the interior 12. He's just going to starve exit out. Exit with not much of a bank, but does have a supply lead. He's moving out. So that Nexus once again going to drop, this time rapidly. The defense force is somewhat out of position for Dentarg once again. And there are a lot of Goliaths to pick these Arbiters out of the air. Exit chasing this army down. There are Dragoons racing to get back in position to help defend this. A lot of stasis being plopped down though. Psystorm on the Goliaths. And this is a good chunk of Exit's attack force that can do nothing right now. But Dentarg, falling behind in supply. Also, these Dragoons coming in in a single-file line. Getting surrounded by these Vultures. As soon as this stasis times out, I don't know that Dentarg can... I don't know that he has enough troops to take the what's left out. Plenty of mines in the way. Exit. So, winning that battle overall. Still pressing. Looks like Further wants to go ahead and... Make sure that 6 o'clock base is open for him and out of his opponent's hands. Establishing out on the high ground, there's a lot of threat here. You can go ahead and attack into the natural here. Also attack into the main. These are two critical bases that Dentarg needs to hold. Dentarg moving his army. Let's see if he shoots. Yeah, going to move it around. Shoot that gap. Two cannons coming on the line. Just in time, to, just in time for this battle. Dentarg with some more great stasises on the high ground, really cutting into the siege tank count in these battles. Stas and his stasises have been impeccable this entire match. Arbiter's going to get wiped out, but it's already done its duty here. Now Dentarg going to be able to go ahead and surround this attack force and exit all of a sudden in trouble. Still mining at this interior 3 o'clock. Needs to establish this 5 o'clock base. But he's really not slowing Dentarg's economy down. And Dentarg, well, as I say that, sweeping in with a lot of vultures to go ahead and take out this interior 12. But that's an exchange for losing a lot of siege tanks here. And Dentarg might be able to just make a hop, skip, and a jump and close out the base in the bottom right defended the interior 12 and this is what we've been seeing a lot of between these guys is attacks all over the map exit lifting off zealots and dragoons trying to defend SCVs pulling out to try to stay alive attack forces looking to reinforce because keep in mind exit can reinforce this high plateau and maybe Go over some continuation attacks in the bottom left while still expanding to the 5 o'clock location. Dragoons coming in position. Another great stasis of that back wall. Arbiter's wiped out. Some nice focus fire for Dentarg. Going to clean up the rest of these siege tanks. 
before they're able to establish themselves. Then target again with the supply lead, again with the defense. These ults should eat. Well, are they going to wander into that siege tank? Looks like not. So now exit. Still mining the upper right hand corner. Still mining the interior three. The five o'clock location has been plopped down, but not yet mining. SCV's retransferring exit very bravely, going for that, considering there's a battle happening in between here. I think he's just assuming he's going to be able to go ahead and push right back in and do whatever he wants. However, Dragoon sneaking down. It looks like that actually is going to be the case. Also pressing into the interior 12 o'clock location. Try to deny that base. The Zealots wandering up, able to get a good Mind Dragon and some tanks to the north. No Arbiters to assist this time. Supply counts very even. Overwhelming attack force here for Dentarg. Going to be able to clear a lot of this out. And now he might be able to go for an assault in the upper right-hand base. Instead, he's going to go ahead and just retract his troops. Probe's transferring. He's going to grab this 7 o'clock base. Siege tanks. Vultures there. Exit continuing to be the aggressor. Now with the supply lead. Large grouping of Dragoons looking to potentially defend this from the rear. No stasis as of yet. It looks like reinforcements coming in from exit from the right. This is going to be close. More Dragoons still there with the Arbiter. Going to be able to push the rest of the siege tanks back. And now exit. Not... Well, he's able to take out that 5 o'clock, but really not able to touch the additional bases. Inside 12 under assault. Again, by Vultures. Well, all this is happening. So distance mining happening from Dentarg at the interior 3. Exit has started to remine. He's mining again at three bases. Supply count still even. Siege tanks under assault by those zealots. Arbiter is here to defend with some dragoons. But while that's happening, it looks like a recall in the bottom right hand. Some dragoons able to disrupt mining there, finally. So it's going to be a base exchange situation. However, I think that's going to turn out in Dentarg's favor. He's still distance mining at the 3 o'clock location. Some vultures nearby, and I missed it. We do have a carrier in the air. So we're seeing... Are we going to see a full carrier swap? Looks like we do just, just a handful of carriers here and there. Inside 12 o'clock location taken out. 5 o'clock location taken out. Dentarg moving into the 5 o'clock base. Exit is down to one mining... Never mind. Zero mining bases... Ba or sorry, one mining base at the interior 3 o'clock location. Sending out vultures all over the map to try to get something accomplished. Siege tanks getting taken out by Arbiters. Dentarg now starting to pull ahead. Some Psystorm cleaning up. Exit's done a great job of being absolutely everywhere and trying to keep the probe count at least somewhat small. But Dentarg, the supply cap is looking more permanent this time. Let's see if Exit goes, uh, if he tries to take that interior 12. I'm not sure he can take the interior 12 and defend this interior 3 and honestly get a troop count up to deal with what Dentarg's fielding now. Being very bold, pushing up to the high plateau outside of Dentarg's base. Exit arming looking a little bit incohesive this time. Dentarg, however, coming in piecemeal because of that gap. Exit pushing him back. A carrier moving up. There is a Goliath to deal with it, but only a Goliath. Exit distance mining at the interior 12. And a flood of Arbiters moving forward. More great stasis on the front and more Arbiters. Just more Arbiters. More Arbiters. Dentarg's Arbiter fleet has been dominating this entire match. The Seize Shanks just have to watch from the other side of their blue imprisonment. Cannons down to the south. Goliath's moving up with some Siege Tanks. But Dentarg can afford to lose this base. Exit needs to take it. 
Dentarg with the 200 supply lead, cleaning up the siege tanks, attacking his own uh, Dragoon, I guess, to keep the interceptors out. So once they come out of stasis, he can clean these siege tanks up rapidly. Dentarg going to lose the bottom right-hand corner. Still has three mining bases, however. In the bottom left. Big supply lead. Still a ton of Arbiters. Exit moving up to go ahead and wipe out that 7 o'clock base. This has been some fantastic matches. What a series. Goliath moving up. Has the high ground, but for how long? Arbiters pressing in. More stasis. You can hear a lot of zealot deaths underneath this, but... Still too much for Dentarg. Dragoon's pressing in. And there's GG from Exit. Just does not have the economy to keep up with Dentarg. And Dentarg winning a very, in my opinion, exciting two games over Exit. Well played by Dentarg. He's going to move to the final match. We'll see if he advances his round of eight. Hopefully we'll see Exit in future seasons. Thank you for listening.